Hello everyone, my name is Satya Narayan and in this brief video we are going to understand how to solve questions based on ages. So these are typically known as problems on ages. Now what exactly are problems on ages? Well, they involve a lot of ratio and proportion. You typically are given the relation between the ages of two people the current age, the age a few years back or the relation between their ages a few years from now and then you have to work out what that exact current ages or past age or future age is going to be. So let us take and understand how we should go about solving this. Now a few basic facts which will help us create the required equations that will finally lead us to the answer. Let me say that my current age is X years, right? So what would my age have been one year back? So one year back, my age would obviously have been X minus one years. Five years back, what would my age have been? So if my current age is X, five years back, my age would have been X minus five which means, let us assume if my current age is 30, then a year back my age would have been 29. Similarly, if my current age is 30, then 5 years back my age would have been 30 minus 5, that is 25 years. Similarly, 2 years hence or 2 years from now, what would my age be? If my current age is X years, 2 years from now, I simply add 2. So which means, if my current age is 30, then 2 years hence, my age will be 30 plus 2, that is 32 years. Similarly, what would be my age 10 years from now? If my current age is assumed to be X, then after 10 years, my age simply will be X plus 10. So, if my current age is 30, then 10 years from now, my age will be 30 plus 10, which is equal to 40. So, first you simply estimate what would the age have been in the past as compared to the current age or what the age will be in the future again as compared to the current age. Now, let us take a look on how do we use this fact to set up our examples and find out the equations. Let us take an example to see how we should go about working out such problems. It is given that the ratio between the present ages of P and Q is 6 is to 7, right? So we know that there are two entities P and Q. It is given that their current ages are in the ratio of 6 and 7. So the simplest thing to assume is that the age of P is 6x and the age of Q is 7x. Now, it is given if Q is 4 years older than P, which means the age of Q is 4 more than the age of P. Q is 4 more than P, which means 7x is equal to 6x plus 4. By simplifying this, I get 7x minus 6x is 4 or the value of x itself is 4. So where x is 4, the value of p is 6 into 4, that is 24 and the value of q is 7 into 4, that is 28. So currently, p is 24 years of age and Q is 28 years of age. The question asks 
what will be the ratio of the ages of P and Q after 4 years? So, I can eliminate all these equations. I simply know that their current ages are 24 and 28. So, after 4 years, the person who is currently 24 will become 24 plus 4, that is 28 years. And the person who is of 28 now will also have 4 years added and that would be 32. So the ratio of P and Q's age would be 28 by 32. If I try to simplify this, then I get 4 7s are 28, 4 8s are 32. So the ratio of their ages 4 years from now will be 7 is to 8. Let us just take one more example and see if we can understand how to go about solving such problems on ages. Now, it is given that a father is twice as old as his son. That means I have the father, I have the son. Today, I know that the father is twice the age of his son. So if the age of the son is x, then the father is twice that, which is 2x. Now, 20 years ago, so first I work out what the ages would have been 20 years back. So today if the father is 2x, 20 years ago his age would have been 2x minus 20. And if the son is of x years today, then 20 years ago he would simply have been x minus 20. So this is where I stop and first derive these two numbers. Now I read the sum ahead. 20 years ago, the age of the father, that is 2x minus 20, was 12 times the age of the son. So, by the time I complete reading that particular line, I also have my equation worked out. 20 years ago, the father would have been 2x minus 20, the son would have been x minus 20, and his 2x minus 20 would have been 12 times x minus 20. Let us simplify this equation. I get 2x minus 20 is equal to 12x minus 12 twos are 24 and a 0 at the end. Now, by taking the 240 on this side, I get 240 minus 20 is equal to 12x. I take the 2x on the other side, minus 2x. 240 minus 20 is 220. 12x minus 2x is 10x. So I get the value of x is 220 divided by 10 which is 22 which means x's value is 22 which has to be the current age of the son. The father's age would be 2 times 22 which is 44 and so the numbers 44 and 22 denote that the father's age currently is double the age of the son. You can also verify the answer by checking whether it matches the second condition. 20 years back, the father would have been 24 years of age. 20 years back, the son would have been 2 years of age. And 24 is 12 times 2. So in case you do not have the options, you can simply work out the linear equations in this manner and find out what is their ages. Now if you were asked, what would be the age of the father or the son after 5 years? So 5 years from now, the father will be 44 plus 5, that is 49, and the son would be 22 plus 5, which is 27. I hope this helps you understand how to go about solving problems on ages. Simply create a table, make the linear equations, solve them.